go ahead uh, go ahead with that question yeah yeah uh, actually, like, uh, so uh, the retrograde, if the Jupiter is in Aquarius position, uh, so what exactly would it mean? <laughs> okay. Uh, see, if that you have to look at in a different way. That is what uh, today and next week's class. Okay. And then uh, by next week class, this uh, free sessions will be over. Uh, and uh, whoever is interested to continue, then, uh, you know, it will be a paid class. So okay. uh, so you have to look at uh, in which uh, Rasi, right? So you have said Aquarius. And then you have to see. Rashi which, is, uh, okay. Tula Rashi. I mean, just an example, right? It, okay. doesn't, matter. Yeah. it doesn't matter. It will it will be in some, plan, some uh, uh, Rasi, right? And then yeah. you have to see that Rasi is uh, for which Bhava. All that you have to consider. Then only you can you will be able to predict what will, okay. uh, it will do. But okay. at the high level, what I what I was trying to say is, uh, as uh, people scare, don't uh, think retrograde planet is negative to the native. Okay, okay. Okay, see, that is the uh, misconception or, uh, you know, is there with the, among uh, many people. Okay. Oh, retrograde. Retrograde means it is negative. No. Okay. See, what I'm, my whole philosophy, my whole thing is, uh, there are so many positive things that are there. We are not taking them. Okay, got it. Okay, so uh, say like, like I mean like I I shared a few uh, examples of uh, retrograde uh, planets in the group. I'm yeah. not sure uh, how many people uh, you were able to you guys uh, uh, interpreted it or tried to interpret. Ah, uh, yeah, in a group bit. like uh, Arvind Kejriwal, uh, like those, right? Okay, Arvind Kejriwal. Let's take Arvind, Arvind Kejriwal. So, Arvind Kejriwal, which planet is in retro? Mm. Uh, just give me a moment. Uh, actually, yeah. I wrote it in a book and my baby has yeah. replaced Kept the yeah, yeah, no, no problem yeah. no problem let me let me okay. share my screen okay, okay uh, sure. thank you okay so which planet is in uh, retro for arvind kejriwal saturn and ketu yeah Ahu. i mean exclude rahu and ketu it will always be retro right so yeah. don't worry about that other than Rahu and Ketu, these main seven planets, which planet is in retro? Saturn. Saturn. Uh, anybody wants to try? See, one is think conceptually, astrologically. And second, so these are all public figures. We know at least their public life. Forget about their private life, right? So, so we you can uh, predict or you can analyze the factors only with public life itself. Since it's uh, Saturn is retrograde, he is like into more service oriented for people. Yeah. <clears throat> You, you are in the right track. Okay, but Saturn is in the Aries position. Correct. Aries no, no. Yeah, yeah. So, park that aside. Okay. Park that aside. So, so far, I have taught the planets, planets, Karakatwa. Correct? <clears throat> then, uh, with that only, you can do so many predictions. With Arvind K. Rival and Retrograde. Yeah, you are correct. Saturn, uh, so public uh, service oriented. You said service oriented. What does planet uh, Saturn represent? Karmakaraka. Karmakaraka. And what else? It's low. 
what is it slow things happen slow things okay uh, other than that karma karaka is correct there is another one key thing i told who does saturn represent shudras shudras who are Sorry. shudras who are shudras labor oriented labor oriented working class people right basically in other words common man yes what party what party did he start common man party <laughs> aam aadmi party aam aadmi <laughs> and what is the profession or line he chose where did he implement it as his karma karaka as his profession and retrograde i said they will think differently right see all the activities as far as political party is concerned his strategies his approaches entirely different from other politicians mm -hmm. correct yes correct right? bjp is trying so hard to bring him down or to crack him we have to see next election what happens but until last two elections nothing can be done yeah right so that's all that's simple so just take only the core things see if you look go, um, any book or any material for saturn there will be 100 things people would have written okay they are there i'm not denying that but we can't practically remember all the 100 things and all the 100 things will impact differently but what i have told is the core karakatu of each planet the core things that will always be there in some form of in some uh, form or other okay any any more questions okay if there are no questions then we'll go to the so last week we saw the retrograde right so now today we will talk about stationary planet basically it is called stambhit graha stambhit stambhit means what no movement no hmm. movement just standing uh, right no movement at all so we all have been learning or saying that all these planets move right how can a planet be in a stambhit situation without a movement is that possible mm. not uh, maybe in reference right if they are moving at the same pace you mm -hmm. you might see that the other planet is at the, the same uh, stationary yeah 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 you were close so in a retrograde okay, this is already yeah. so in a retrograde motion we saw this correct so when you when we saw this the planet like goes here and then it comes right say for example let me give an another example let's say you have a pendulum right it goes like this and then it comes back right mm -hmm. this is the pendulum movement but when you see the pendulum when it reaches this point right you will feel that this pendulum is like stationary for a fraction of a second have you noticed it or not when a pendulum is moving 
here when it comes in this position you will feel that it is like standing there for a fraction of a second again depends on the speed of the pendulum where it is moving but have you noticed it or not yeah, yeah uh, the tip positions are always zero like right correct the tip position it will be zero like it will be like that same thing let me go back to uh, The same thing, when a planet is in a retrograde, you see when it is moving up to here, just pay attention. See, it, it slows down a little bit. Right? So that position is that position when a planet comes that pla position we call it as a stumbit position or a stationary planet hmm. see here see this in, in the video you will see that so what it means is it will occur this so it should uh, uh, sorry so this stumbit position will happen on two occasions. One is the planet going from normal position to retrograde position. One, two, from retrograde to normal position. Got it? Let me repeat. The stumbit position, stumbit situation will come for a planet on two occasions one from normal to retrograde and retrograde to normal yes sir got it got it okay yes i mean the so, analogy you have given the pendulum analogy is very exactly same yeah yeah so and uh, in my experience, with all other uh, strength, weakness planet, this uh, stationary proposition plays a very, very vital role. Okay? It, you can see the effect uh, of those planets in that person's uh, horoscope or in his life. Right? And another thing, let me tell you, I have not seen any software currently showing the stumpit position of the planets when we cast the horoscope. But what will be the duration of that stumpit uh, graha? Yeah, good question, yeah. Uh, Raghu. Uh, you, we will, uh, will pass that question. That okay. basically again. Okay, let me answer. Uh, that uh, and that depends on the planet's movement. Okay. Right. E, for a slow moving uh, pan, uh, planet, it will be more. For Sorry. fast moving planet, it will be short. Okay. okay. When, you, when you say it's more or short, is it uh, duration? Is it days or months or years? Uh... No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you, you, hold on. Hold on to it. Okay. That will be the next uh, couple of okay. slides. Okay. Uh, we will talk. We will be talking about it. Okay. Okay, right. So, so far we have seen so many concepts, right? How does Graha's planets get strength? What are those? They are either uh, good or bad or uh, mingling with uh, friends or enemies like that. Okay, mm, only partially correct. Friends or enemies, that is that is okay. In own house. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then aspecting again. Aspecting, okay. Yeah, I think that's what I try to re that's recollect. What you try to uh, recollect, okay. Any, anybody else? Um, yeah. 
but exaltation and debilitation uh, shadbal exaltation debilitation good shadbal shadbal okay that covers everything i guess that covers everything <laughs> uh, so own house right exaltation debil uh, friend house then uh, debilitation mool trikon okay retrograde combust though so there is another concept of combust uh, i missed it so what is combust means when a planet so we all seen so far how these planets get energy these planets get energy from sun right and then that energy will be reflected based on its own karakatwa to the natives right so but when this planet is closer to the sun okay so then what happens Uh, so depending upon more energy the effect the effect will be more or maybe getting more energy yeah so this is planet this is sun let us assume right so when it is close means say this is earth uh, right okay and then let's say this is uh, uh, say saturn this is earth okay this is where we are so let's put here actually stop that uh, In the cellar itself is not going. Okay. So let us assume uh you know what? I'll go back to this one. Okay. So let us assume sorry guys. My on hold on is So this is sun, this is earth, okay. Say and then say this is uh, say Jupiter, okay. So we are talking about geocentric model. So when we when we are seeing the planets from geocentric model, so why I put Jupiter? farther than sun because these are the outer circle right beyond uh, earth right so when we are seeing the jupiter and in between your sun is also comes so then we say these two are in one house right is it clear so far yes right so when it is in the same house, as this Jupiter moves and the sun moves, right, then both come in a same degree when you are looking from Earth. So when we say that, say, for example, say sun is in 15 degree, okay, I'm just making out, and Jupiter also comes in 15 degree, or let's say 12 degrees. Mm. Okay. 
So then it is Jupiter is coming closer to the sun. Right? So then what happens is the this planet don't have any light. It all from sun only. So the sun's light energy will overshadow Jupiter. So there is nothing much Jupiter can exhibit its own race back to Earth. Mm. See, the light goes from here, right? And then it comes back here. And this light also goes from sun to Earth, right? So assume uh, you have a bright light in front of you and then there is another light behind this, behind that light. What will happen? You will see only this light, not this light. Correct? Mm. So like that, when this planet comes closer to the sun, then we call it as combust position. Mm -hmm. Okay. So a lot of uh, astrologers take combust position also as a negative one. Basically, it loses power. That is correct. So it means like basically sun dominates the other planets right? yep. because of yep. its light. Exactly. So, yeah. okay. Sun will dominate. So even if uh, these planets are in a good uh, places and all that, exalted, all that, but if it is in a compassed position, then it will lose its power. So this compassed uh, concept is only with respect to sun, right? Because of its light. Correct. But not with any other planet. Or Not any with, combination of other planets, right? Yeah, the sun has to be there. Right, okay. So only when sun comes only, in between in the straight right. line, let us say in the same degree, then the combust is max. Correct. Okay, got it. Yeah, thanks. Okay. So let me ask one uh, question. What is the combust position for moon? Is it Grahana time? You you are close. That should be on the other side, opposite to the. Yeah. Who who is this? Chaitra, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You are you are very close. Actually, you went beyond beyond the answer. Okay. When sun, moon, and earth are in the same line. In the same line. That is Amavasya. I mean, no, in the eclipse time. No eclipse time. Uh, Rahu Ketu has to come. Yeah. That that means it is on the other side of the moon. I mean, yeah. sun. Yeah. Opposite to the sun side. Right. That is basically so, so Amavasa. Ba right. Basically Amavasa. Yeah, Amavasa uh, day is the combust position for moon. But we, we don't call uh, combust position for moon. Okay. But other planets we call combust position. And there are some exceptions for uh, for every planet. There are some certain degrees uh, Effect. It is not the same for all the planets. Uh, like, why don't we call this compass for the moon? Why is it? Like I, that? Um, I don't know, honestly. Just, just curious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, <laughs> I know, but I, I don't know that. So why they don't? Uh, they are not calling. Uh, okay. Um, yeah. Maybe we'll explore later. Yeah, we can explore uh, later. So this is an another position also determines the planet suspense. And of course, aspect the people have told. Okay. So the graha strength, uh, if it is in the own house, right? It says mm -hmm. fame, wealth, position, Correct. land, happiness, and good children. Does yeah. it matter uh, irrespective of uh, which planet on which which house? This is just an overall high level. Over. Guide. Okay. Okay. If if the same planet is in it, if a planet is in its own house. Depending upon that house, yeah, it will have yeah. the, the benefits. Correct. Yeah, okay. Correct, 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 correct. But this is Let's just a Jupiter... high level. This is just yeah. a high level guideline. Okay. If Jupiter is in its it's it's in its own house and that house happens to be number one, then mm -hmm. fame will happens. Mm, okay, hold hold on to that okay. for next class. Right? Okay. What does number one mean? Yeah. You have to see. Okay. okay. That I will be covering in the next class. Okay. Okay. So, but this is just a high level. Uh, mm -hmm. A high level from where each planet will get strength. 
Okay. All this is covered in Shadbal. Yeah. That is one easy value. Okay. Maybe that numbers like is based on all the calculations together. Correct. Okay. For everything, there are specific calculations and then uh, it will show. Yeah, maybe like when you are using the software, like I mean, computer will do all these things for us. We don't have to worry. Just take yeah, that you, number. You don't have to worry, right? Okay, let me yeah. show you. Um, let me use here. Maybe. We have to have a commercial software to get Shadbal, right? We can get no, no, no. Shadbal, you will get it in any software. Oh, okay. Uh, see Shadbal calculation. <coughs> Oops. Are you able to see this? Uh, this, uh, I don't know how to make this guy uh, bigger. I don't know how to make this bigger. See those values? I'm sorry, but uh, uh, let me see if there okay. is any e zoom. Uh, see these various numbers here, mm -hmm. right? E, uh, 23.39, butchable. You know, there are so many factors, right? All that, they, everything adds up to uh, this number. Hmm. Okay. But we don't have to go about uh, so much detail. Okay. okay. Uh, Dr. Prasad, sorry to interrupt. Yeah. Uh, yes. like, uh, is there any chance like sun also will become weak uh, anytime it loses its strength? Suppose if it is in debilitation period. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it, it does, it does, it does. It does. Okay, it because does. sun is the one who is giving energy to all the planets. Correct. Correct. So if sun loses Correct. energy, then is there anyone giving energy to sun? No, right? <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. See, uh, okay, you have to look at uh, differently, right? Say if sun itself is weak, uh, but uh -huh. in reality, when you look at the galaxy, sun is still bright. Right, it is yeah. emitting its uh, energy. Correct. All right. So what we are telling is astrologically we are saying it is weak. Okay. Okay. So still those planets will get the energy from the sun. See nine planets, right? Mm -hmm. So take sun, and the remaining eight will still continue to get. So take out Rahu Ketu. We don't know. Okay. So the six planets, seven out of, I mean, six out of seven planets will still continue to get the energy from sun. How sun be, behaves in the specific horoscope determines, uh, you know, it's its own karakatra. Okay, if suppose sun is in debilitation, then all the planets will get less energy? No, 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 that's what I'm saying. It is not the case. Okay, okay. It is not the case. That's what I'm saying. So okay. sun, if it's in, sun is in a debilitation or it's an enemy house like that, only for that horoscope, the sun is weak. Only for only sun is weak, but not the remaining six planets. Okay, got it. Thank you, doctor. Okay. 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 So now we have seen all these popular concepts, exaltation, old, uh, debilitation, own house, molotricone, aspects, retrograde, and then yogas. There are so many yogas, okay, in, uh, in the, in the uh, Vedic astrology. There are hundreds of yogas out there. Planet, basically, each planetary combinations form a yoga. And then there are specific rules and formulas so for those yogas. Okay. Raja Yoga, Vipritaya, Raja Yoga, Nicha Banga, Raja Yoga, like that. There, these are like very few. Gaja Kesari Yoga, there are so many yogas. Okay. All that. But we will not be in, uh, in the Stella Nadi method, we will not be using any of these concepts. You might think uh, what this guy was 
telling all along about all these things now completely contradicting but without using all these things also you can easily make predictions like uh, uh, somebody he was asking right what happens sun is weak debilitated what happens jupiter what happens here that and all you don't have to think all that permutations and combinations at all there are specific set formulas are there which you can use or you will use and then easily predict so again same thing analysis calculations analysis applying logic and reasoning and do the predictions this is my formula simple what we what we do here right is what matters calculations of course the core calculations will be there there are other different calculations that we have to do but it is easy again remember the ganapati example okay so that again we don't consider those popular concepts the most advanced but very simple and on top of it i have uh, my own uh, hybrid method as well basically fine tune mixed something and then you know getting into more accurate uh, level of predictions okay then again my uh, my takeaway is for you all of you people is you can predict in less than 2 minutes whatever the question is uh, whatever the issue people have okay okay right so now let's go to the elliptic cycle so what is elliptic uh, elliptic cycle is the all these planets revolve around sun right and then how long does it take so there are here two columns so one is duration in each rasi and to complete one circle one round moon is the fastest it it stays in one rasi for approximately 2.25 days and it completes one cycle in a month so that is how like we are have the lunar months right so that is we consider as one month so uh, this is approximate one month it's basically 29.5 days okay this is 29.5 days so mercury venus sun they all similar like one year they take to finish one elliptical cycle a one month each approximately so these three planets right this is where the earth right our earth is here then these are all outer planets so the outer planets take longer because they are they have to revolve more distance compared to earth to make a, a elliptical cycle around uh, sun so mars takes one and a half months uh, okay then uh, jupiter one year in one rasi that is total 12 years rahu ketu 1.5 years in each rasi so they take 18 years to finish one elliptical cycle saturn two and a half years total 30 years to complete one elliptical cycle so today saturn is in some position to come back for a saturn to the same position it will take 30 years okay most half of the life is gone <laughs> <laughs> yep that's what they say right uh, if a person lives for 60 years you can mm -hmm. have two phases of saturn yeah okay so e so depending on these positions right the stambit will depend for saturn stambit position will be few days 
Hmm. Okay. Uh, I mean, uh, and Jupiter also couple of days. Mars will be like oh, one day or less than it. Hmm. Mercury, Venus, and all it will be very quick. few hours maybe. Okay. So. So basically what is happening is, how long does a sunlight take to reach a planet? For Mercury, it takes 3.2 uh, minutes and then to Earth, right? So Venus is six minutes. For Earth, it takes 8.3 minutes. So that is why, so basically we say we get sunlight in 8.3 minutes. Mm. For Mars, 12.6, Jupiter, 43.2 minutes, Saturn, 79.3 minutes. So to come back, the, the total energy to us, so this 79 point, another 79.3 minus 8 minutes, right? Hmm. Two and a half hours. <laughs> Right, what is that? Uh, what we are getting? 150. Uh, 50. Two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. So, that long it will take for us to get the energy of Saturn, good or bad. So, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. See here? Pluto. Two and a half hours, two hours, 40 minutes. Then you double it. Five hours, more than five hours. Then this one, Neptune, 4.1. And Pluto, five and a half hours plus five and a half hours, 11. That is to get the energy, right? And this is the elliptical cycle to finish. So Uranus, 84 years. Neptune, 164.8 years. And Pluto, 248 years to complete one elliptical cycle. So why we didn't consider these planets is, A, the energy that this planet gives and comes back to us, it becomes so negligible. Okay. Then two is the time it takes to complete the revolution. Maybe Uranus 84 years, some people might see it's one revolution. Neptune and Pluto, we don't know how many lives we have to do. Right? We will never see. So if, uh, if we cannot have the one complete elliptical cycle in this uh, our life, we cannot experience the all the 12 science effects. The result of these planets being in those 12 signs. So that is the reason these three planets are not considered when it comes to the energy level and then the impact it is going to make on our lives, very negligible. So they have ignored. And I also ignore. Any questions? Okay. So now let's talk about the Rashis. So each Rashi has its own significations. Okay. I'll tell both positive and negative. So Mesham. Mesham Aries, the Lord is Mars. They are very spontaneous, action oriented, courageous, right, innovative, and all. The negative side is impatience. Impatience, hastiness, lot of ego. Lot of ego, ruthlessness, possessiveness, and all. And these people, they have to just do their job, their karma, that's it. They should not 
think about or expect any results for themselves. It will be only for others. It could be a family or society or whatever. It's not for you, for others. So, just with this example, do anybody remember for Kajri wall where the Saturn was? Yeah, Meshurasi. Meshurasi. First house. First house, Meshurasi. So basically, the characteristic of Mesham is what? That is for others, not for himself. So he started a political party for people, not for himself. Maybe he will enjoy the result, but it is mainly for other people. Other people only will get benefited, not him. That is the main, uh, another uh, uh, Karakatwa for Mesha. Okay. Next to Rishabham. Rishabham, Taurus, Venus, right? They are very sensible, uh, down to earth people, polite, and all that. Right? He, uh, that and all is good. They listen, obedient, and all that. On the negative side, they are very stubborn. They will look soft, nice. You think, oh, oh take it for granted, Rishabha people. But they're very stubborn on their characteristics. They won't, uh, you know, compromise. They're very inflexible. Okay. And this is the uh, second house. This is the source of uh, income and punyam. Uh, I mean, I have made an exclusive video on this, uh, how to uh, consider, take this Rushabam for every sign uh, separately. I think uh, I made it for uh, Saptarishi Astrology YouTube channel. It's there in my website also, that link you can see. That's an another like a one hour uh, thing. You can see that and what are all the effects or how, what, uh, it'll, how we have, we can use this uh, the Rishabha sign. Okay. This uh, next one is Mithunam, Gemini, Mercury, right? This is the number three, third sign. They're very effective intelligence. Basically, it's all uh, Mercury, right? And then uh, good in communication. Very good in communication. Both uh, third sign and the, as far as Mercury. Both are good, all right? The other one biggest uh, negative is this Rashi cannot hold secrets. They will reveal it. So you can be little careful. Okay. And then uh, they are also short tempered. And uh, so basically what happens is the negative is they take decisions very quickly. That is like without much of a thought. Uh, cancer, Karkatam, this is moon. They're very sensitive people, very sympathetic, very good imagination. Okay. But Emotional, sensitive, very, very sensitive. And uh, they have still to learn many languages easily. Not that other Rasi people, they cannot learn many languages, but this Rasi, they can easily learn many languages. It is easy for them. Uh, for other people, they have to struggle. They have to put in a lot of efforts. The negative side is, they they concentrate on little things and uh, you know minute minor things which can be ignored but they won't ignore because of that it creates problem in their lives and then they will lose their happy moments they will pick up a fight they will do something you know which is very uh, small issue small things that doesn't matter at all, but that will 
spoil that entire uh, you know uh, that moment that event have you seen any cancer people like this right you can try to uh, analyze if any you find any cancer uh, rash and they are service oriented as well simum the sun right the uh, sun sun is for what power administrative leadership and all that right that's in marasi but the thing is e what does uh, king do will king do any work for you no he will give only orders others have to do the same thing the leo leo was signed uh, baba wherever it comes they will give orders they won't do so uh, so that is the i mean both the positive and negative right in some positions you need people to give orders not to do the work but you cannot expect e uh, them to be as a uh, you know doer and they forgive uh, people very easily and okay? they forget mistake other people's mistakes at all they will easily uh, uh, um, you know forgive them uh on other side negative side is they are uh, argumentative and uh, they are very stubborn also uh, sometimes their actions the sun right again i i told you they want to uh lead they want to do sometimes their actions will annoy their superiors sometimes they will behave like a boss obviously the boss won't like it right so and uh, they also get irritated very quickly and leo is again discipline is very important for them they will be very disciplined if others don't follow any discipline they will get irritated pretty quickly it doesn't matter even if it is it's their superior they will go and tell on face okay next is uh, kanya burgo uh, this is also mercury but there is difference between uh, mithunam and this one okay so these people are not that um, communicative like mithuna people okay uh but again the intelligence will be there they show interest in occult sciences uh, you know all that e some shyness will be there uh but e these people will hold secrets no problem with that okay unlike the mithuna people the negative side is they are little worrisome people e uh, they should learn uh sorry e um so i think this wording is not correct i will uh, um i will rephrase that so what these people do is they will let others to make the decisions for them instead of that they should make their own decisions so that's the a problem uh, uh, area for these people hmm. okay tula venus again uh, this is uh, affectionate generous and uh, these people uh, they what to tell um, they are mostly like a business minded people okay they are more interested in business or anything if you go and 
ask them, they will not do any work like a free. They will immediately ask, okay, what is it I'm getting? Okay, that type of uh, nature. Uh, and uh, uh, other thing is, right, e so they need to control their emotion, okay, e but again, it is like more like in a, in a materialistic world. So they expect too much of materialistic in their life. That is a, a problem. You cannot, right? You cannot have, uh, everybody cannot have that kind of uh, uh, materialistic uh, expectations. So that is the negative thing. So that is the problem. They want, they will be, everything will be in a, uh, you know, super high level uh, thoughts and super high level uh, materialistic uh, wishes. So what, what do you mean by materialistic, sir? Is it like some properties, assets? Yeah, pro some... proper, yeah properties, how, yeah, properties, vehicles, uh, lavishness, all that. But why you say they will not be getting, sir? Like... No, no, they, it will be, see, for every person, you have your limits, right? Say, for example, say you are making uh, uh, 10,000 rupees per month. You can go only so much. You cannot think and then spend like a person who's making 1 lakh rupees per month. So for okay. the same Tula people, for 10,000 uh, rupees uh, income people, they will think like they want to be like a 1 lakh they will spend like that. I mean, that is how their thoughts will be. Or 5 lakhs or 10 lakhs like that. For the same another 1 lakh person, Tula people, you go and talk, that person will talk in crores. Like that. Okay. So, so in general, sir, how how do we use the, of this information? So, if, if anybody... That is, that, is their, that is their nature, sir. That is their nature. Uh, so we can we cannot. I mean, if somebody comes in those uh, thing, and then you see this, and then you give see astrologer is also a counselor. Correct, sir. Correct. Yeah, that, that is what my question, sir. Let's say for in, not only for Tula, sir, or for any Correct. other for any, for any for every Rasi, right? there is positive and negative. Let's you say there is a see, negative aspect. Yeah, you will see those negative aspects. Then you have to counsel that person in a way that boss try to reduce all these things. First, they won't agree to whatever you say. No person want to agree to their negative traits. Some people, they will accept. Yes, that is true. Okay, uh, this is where I'm having problem. Okay, how you can work. Then uh, we can give some tips uh, based on your experience and your knowledge, how you can control. Okay, just by being aware of the negative as well as positive, somebody can make use of it and, and uh, be aware when, when, when any decision Correct. is taken, being taken. Correct. Or something. Correct. Okay, okay, sir. And um, another thing, this Tula people, Tula Rasi, when whatever the bhava house it comes, like 1 to 12, right? Whatever that bhava is, they won't easily get it. Okay, they have to give something to get something. That is what they need to understand. Say, okay. for example, like, sir, uh, what bhava, like, can you take examples? Yeah, I need to understand the bhava thing. Okay, so uh, let us, uh, yeah, that's why yeah, I will hold on to the next week. Uh, when we talk about the bhavas, then I can, I will explain to you uh, better. Okay, okay sir. Just no for problem. now, you, you park this question for next week. Sure. Definitely, sir. Okay. And Bhava is week, house, right? right? Yeah, house. Bhava is house. Bhava yeah. is house. Okay. okay. End of no. next week class. Okay, we'll, I will answer that. Sir, what exactly avoid copying mannerisms means? Uh, they should not copy someone or someone should not copy them? Right. They should not copy uh, 
uh, mannerisms from others. Okay. You you will see some people. Uh, they will immediately they will easily pick up other people's mannerisms and then start behaving like that. Walking, talking, you know all that. So okay. so I mean you need to have your own individualistic uh, thing, right? Yes, correct. Yeah. It's not a big deal. It's not going to change your uh, uh, life, but uh, it gives a different uh, perception. So what type of mannerisms? So if you are just picking up only the mannerisms, it is fine. Okay, not a big deal. But what if you are picking up, you are copying something else? So they have that tendency. The same thing, the same thing, just relates to that uh, that uh, extravagant uh, things, right? Im imagining too much. So this guy is making only 10,000 rupees per month, but he wants to live or have the lifestyle like a 1 lakh rupee. That is like a copying. Okay. But, but how do they achieve dreams, sir? They should dream now, sir, in, in general. I'm, I'm not... <laughs> okay. I'm not stopping anybody to not to dream, right? But your dream is there. You should have a path, a plan to achieve your dream. You should spend one lakh after earning one lakh. Okay. Okay. Not taking loan from other people and then spending. Got it, sir. Got it. And they get into trouble because of that. See, all these negative things, they are the trap for our life. Yep. You fall into that trap, then our life is gone. So we, one should understand uh, what is the difference between uh, taking inspiration from somebody versus uh, copying somebody. Else. Exactly. See, inspiration copying is fine. Okay, I want to become uh, 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 like a Tendulkar. Yeah, it is fine. But first you have to go practice, play well like Tendulkar and then only you can uh, be like a Tendulkar, right? Right, right. Sir. Yeah, effort, yeah, you understand that. And once you have some dream you you make sure that you you if you know your negative thing you know you don't dream daydream you have to do your work correct. to achieve something correct. like that correct okay okay just you 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 uh you check your friends relatives anybody in this rasi right or lagna tula lagna or tula rasi just talk to them and see Analyze their characteristics. Again, don't come to any conclusion or judgment about a person, good or bad. Okay? First, analyze the characteristics of the person. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay. Next is Rishikam Scorpio. This is again Lord is Mars. There is huge difference between Mesha and Scorpio. Okay. So these people are uh, quick, shrewd. Okay. Uh, critical of penetrating mind, judgment, self-reliant, very bold and fixed views. Another main thing is these people are research oriented and service oriented people scorpio okay and they cannot sit idle they cannot sit idle they will be always be doing some work or something the negative side is uh they lose temper very quickly they get irritated very quickly and two negative means they become very cunning also. Okay. And 
if they go into uh, their uh, revengeful attitude also will be more. For Scorpio people, if somebody does anything, they won't uh, forget it. They will, uh, when the opportunity comes, they will take the revenge. Unlike Sun people, Leo. Unlike Leo people who they forgive, right? But these people won't. These people won't uh, forgive. They will uh, they will keep it in the back of their mind, and then they will take the revenge when it uh, when the time comes. So basically, what is the thing is, they need to uh, avoid this revengeful nature and be little patient. And uh, the other thing is they will not surrender. They won't give up quickly. Not quickly. They will never give up. Until their death, they will fight. The negative thing is this revengeful and cunning nature. Uh, if it is uh, negative, then this, this becomes very, very obvious. Then it is very hard for others, uh, others to predict what these people will do. Next to Danushu, Sagittarius, Lord Jupiter, they're very uh, friendly, cheerful, highly intelligent, uh, right? Uh, they're very frank, fear, uh, fearless and all. Outspoken, okay? But the negative side is they exaggerate things. The truth will be like small one, but they will exaggerate. And then they have a tendency of making false promises. And insulting and hurting others is very easy for these people. The moment they open their mouth, uh, the if that this Rashi is negative, oh, right? He, too much negative, they will, uh, you know, insult others like anything. You you can't even, uh, you know, um, you know, imagine. So, uh, so that is the problem with for them. This is insulting and hurting others, right? this will only create problem for them because they speak so much once the word goes out of your mouth you can't take it back right because of that all the friends or relatives or whoever you want to help them or have respect they will lose all their respect and everything in spite of being uh, you know uh, highly intelligent you know all that because of this nature. If they don't do this, then they will be regarded uh, in a good way. Okay. Uh, Makaram, Scorpio, uh, sorry, Capricorn, Saturn, right? This is uh, Saturn again, 10th sign. Karma Karaka, uh, they're very uh, humble, you know, all that. He, but they are very calculative and business minded people. Okay, Makara sign people. So, those people, since they are naturally business minded people, they will be good in business if they do business instead of job. Okay. Uh, negative is suspecting uh, and uh, they don't have trust on others. So this is a problem. If you don't trust others, you cannot succeed. The moment you start trusting others and stop this uh, suspecting nature, then uh, it will be 
be good for them. But this is an another big trap. If they indulge in any of these uh, sinful deeds, anything like that, even one small thing, the result for them will be very big. That will completely bring them down. Okay. And uh, they will be like a workaholic, so they should not overwork. So take rest and then, uh, you know, so that they can uh, focus on their health. Kumbham, uh, even though this is also Saturn, but it is different. These people are uh, very social. Makara sign people are not social. These people are very social. Okay, they'll have a lot of friends and uh, they have a lot of passion, goal, dreams and all. Okay, they're very ambitious people. Uh, Kumbhadasi people. Okay. Again, maybe this uh, spirituality lacks because of maybe Kali Yuga's effect. They are so much uh, focused on their goal, passion, and all fulfillment gains. This goes, uh, this takes a back seat. And because of too much of this, they become self centered also. So that is the negative side of uh, Kumbha. Last one, Meenam. Uh, so Meenam is also another uh, service-oriented uh, sign, uh, service-oriented people. They're very sympathetic, all right, all that. Um, this is my mouse, yeah. So affection for friends and relatives will be there, right? Not just the uh, friends and relatives, even for the society also, in service-oriented people. Uh, can you recall? What are all the service-oriented signs out of 12? Saturn. No, Rasis. Rasis. Arkadakam. Mm -hmm. Vrishikam. Mm -hmm. mm. Probably, I don't know, Kumbham is Saturn, so I'm just... Virgo also. Virgo, right? No, Meenam. The one Meenam, yeah. Now, about. yeah, the last one, yeah. <laughs> Last one. These four, these three are service oriented nature. Out of these, if I have to rank, this is one, this is two, and this is three. Okay. Out of these three. So you will find a lot of politicians in Vrushikaras. Vrushikarasi or Vrushikalakna. Same thing, Meenam and Karkatam also. You will see a lot of politicians, Leo, uh, um, Simam also. Because they want to give orders, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, so the negative side of uh, uh, Meenam is uh, fluctuating moods. Okay. Like uh, Karkata Rasi Vindi. But not as bad as Kakatarasi. Okay. A, uh, then these people also have suspicious nature, but not as bad as uh, Makara sign. Okay. But Makara sign is more, but these people are. They, they won't open up. It will be there inside them and then, uh, you know, they won't open up. They won't openly be, uh, exhibit that. But they will be having their own uh, suspicious nature and calculating in their mind. Okay. And these people are easygoing and all that. Okay. I think uh, uh, that's it. Uh, yeah. That's it for today. Any questions? Father, regarding this uh, Stambit Grahas, mm -hmm. uh, we, uh, we think we learned that there are two positions, right? One is the one which just before uh, Vakra, 
and then the one uh, at the end of okra which is okay. again coming back to savya direction right so uh, depending upon whatever uh, the planet like the uh, time varies from few minutes okay. to few days right so Correct. what is the significance of these two positions one before getting into okra and one for getting corrected again so because uh, practically both are fine both will okay. give the same result depending upon that planets uh, which bhavas which houses it is occupying or signifying in the horoscope okay, okay. Uh, yeah sometimes I, i understand like i mean still i have not mastered the subject still learning right so yeah. sometimes I understand while kind of listening to people mm -hmm. uh, some of uh, these uh, planets doesn't get out of their house and they'll still be in vakra in the same house and again come back to the same direction i mean corrected direction correct. in the same house correct so but, so the, is that has in, has any effect on their uh, i mean positions uh, uh i mean like is... uh, maybe i didn't put the question well. so starting of the vakra that uh, samvit position 1 mm -hmm. maybe in one house and if it in the vakra itself it goes to the second or uh, the next house correct again gets corrected back so that correct. in that situations probably i am trying to understand because if it is within the same house uh, as you said like it doesn't have much so um okay uh, you mean the same rashi or sign right right okay right, right. so when that vakra happens back and forth okay the the rasis will change for the outer planets like mars jupiter saturn and sometimes even for inner planets also it all depends on the angle sometimes say like uh, mercury and venus also it might go to the next sign and then come back but remember mm -hmm. when a person is born we are casting the horoscope right it could be in the stambhit position 1 or it could be in stambhit position 2 it okay. cannot be both right that is true yeah one position right? any one so position so we are looking at when we cast the horoscope okay when we see one planet is in a retrograde then we are going we are seeing whether is it in a stambhit position okay yes or no that's it that's it for so us it doesn't you... matter whether it is like a position 1 or position 2 okay so now let us say okay if if yes so then what is the question so that's what so if yes so let us assume right you have a torch light it is like moving right i'm just right. putting the light when in the motion hmm. when will you get the maximum light when in the mean position that uh, that uh, light is in a stable position correct, correct. right correct. so this stambhit is equal to that stable position okay. so you will get that native will get the maximum energy of that planet in the stambhit position in the stambhit position either this side or the that side doesn't it matter. doesn't matter so okay. when he gets that light more light right we will mm -hmm. see like in a future classes that planet is good or bad okay so that the light okay number one you are getting the maximum light good right then whether that light is good light or bad light oh okay now 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 i think i'm i'm getting slightly getting the so so what is the question right so if it is a okay. good then probably it's the best or right. if it is bad if it is it may be the worst exactly okay yeah then yeah. how I, how bad how bad and how good okay so in between positions i think it, it will have its uh, as usual like yeah as as, as usual that uh, again as usual that again i'm going to the uh, if you are uh, interested then uh, when we go to that stellar nadi method that is where like i will see easily position easily tell like uh, you can easily tell how good and how bad these planets are okay yeah understood okay not not just good and bad what result it is going to give okay so the result is basically say i want a career growth will i become ceo of a company hmm okay like that 
or will will I be like a manager level only or will I be like a IC level only individual contributor like a clerical grade okay okay or will I go uh, uh, do good in business sure this is just one aspect right say for example okay that good is there some bit is there how what result is it is going to give basically we are in Kali Yuga, people are more interested in the materialistic results. Correct. <laughs> will I get a job? Will I get a promotion? Will I have children? Right? Will I have properties? Mm. Will I go to uh, US or any foreign country and will I settle there? Will I get green card? Okay. Right? All that. All that to answer those questions this stellar Nadi method is very easy. Okay. In the traditional uh, Parashari method, the, there are so many calculations and permutations you have to do and then come to a conclusion. A lot of times it is, uh, uh, there are multiple conflicting answers you will get. Mm -hmm. That is the reason when you go take your horoscope and then go to uh, 10 astrologers, 10 astrologers will predict 10 different things. Yeah, yeah. Got it. And then people get confused. I'm not okay. saying who is right, who is wrong, but that uh, that method is so complicated mm. to answer the materialistic questions. Questions. <laughs> Somebody is going more, to... more of a generic results or generic predictions sorry generic predictions and all so now people are very specific now they say okay uh marriage problem now we are seeing so many uh divorces mm. now we are seeing so many childbirth issues Correct. see in india uh you have so many uh, uh fertility centers mm. 30 years back it was not there correct business <laughs> there used to be like one or two here and there yeah. So now uh, people have a question. Okay, when will I have ch child? Uh, I mean, qualitative versus quantitative. It has been. Exactly. Think, exactly. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm still kind of I, uh, not sure if I can make that statement or not. Parashara is more of a qualitative and uh, Nadi Stellar is more of quantitative. Can I say that? Yeah, for a simple yeah. thing, right? Yeah, yeah I'm not and in a broader sense. sense. Yeah, yeah, no exactly. yeah, exactly. Not hurting See, anybody are... and, uh, with uh, due respect to every kind of uh, astrologer yeah. and uh, their knowledge. Correct. And just at a broader sense of understanding. Is... Yes, yes. Correct. Sure. For for broader sense and then for a normal uh, predictions, right? That's what I'm talking about. The Kali Yuga's predictions. So basically, sure. this is predictive astrology. Hmm. See, astrology has many facets. Uh, predictive astrology is one aspect. The other aspect is uh, your guidance, your life, right? Very few people in my whole experience, only two or three people have asked, come and asked, tell me, guide me what I should be doing in this life. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not like, uh, you know, I want to be a CEO or uh, a, you know, president or things like that. No, right? Very few people. Out of the two or three people, if I remember correctly, Americans only. I think only one Indian uh, race person has asked that question. Okay. What is the purpose of my life? Hmm. Right? It means what he should be doing, what he or she should be doing. Yeah, what is the purpose of my life? I've taken hmm. birth. What I should be doing? What is my purpose? See, every mm -hmm. life, every Atma has its own purpose. Correct. Right? What is that? For that, astrology is useful. For that, uh, Parashara method is the best. Parashara method is that Gemini is that all that will give excellent results. Oh. Yeah. But people come don't come and ask that type of question. <laughs> As you said, like materialistic and Kali Yuga, right? Yeah, Kali Yuga, we're, right? So we're running behind money. Yeah. Money, fame, everything, right? Materialistic. Yeah, I mean, life. When you say materialistic, not just money, in general, whatever in kind general. of gets them. Correct. Everything, everything, whatever we want. 
right? right. So this stellar Nadi method is good in predictive astrology. Okay. People have, okay, I don't have child. I am married five years, 10 years, no child. What is happening? Being like, when will I get child and all that? So the, with this method, I can, I will easily predict. I will give uh, remedies to do. And people have uh, uh, conceived. Some of them have uh, delivered the baby. Some did not abort it. But the, my prediction was, you will conceive in this months. Be watchful, be careful, do whatever you have to do in this time period. You will get conceived. They got conceived. So like that. So those type of things we can easily do in this method. Just any... One more question. Yes. Uh, not related to the subject, but again, uh, I, I understand like uh, your PhD was on medical astrology or something Correct. like that. Correct. Yeah, just thought of Asking you what, what is all about that in the first class itself, but we didn't oh, get okay. No, no class. problem. No problem. The reason is, I, sorry, the reason yeah, is okay. one of my previous bosses here back in India is also a PhD in medical astrology. Oh, great. So, but now he is not my boss. So, during the office, I mean, in the previous office, like, because he's a boss and like it is an official thing, we wouldn't discuss much. But now I'm trying to, I mean, after our classes and other things for last couple of weeks, I'm trying to get hold of him and he's busy. Mm. So I'm, uh, maybe sometime I'll try to meet him and try to get more knowledge on what he did. About. Because I searched on the internet, he, he, his thesis was not there. Yeah. So it quite, basically... quite some time back. Okay. Okay. And okay. He's well, also, he was also an ISRO scientist then. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's good. I mean, share his name offline. I will also sure, sure, sir. It. Yeah, I can share uh, online also. His name is Dr. Anil Ramshesh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, the thing is, right, it depends on that uh, college or university whether they want to publish uh, uh, the thesis, right? Uh -huh. the, um, right. Other thing is our own. Uh, Correct. And uh, but wish, uh, it right? is quite, quite, quite uh, long back. So, then right. like uh, probably internet was prevalent. Those yeah, days, I guess. yeah. So yeah. then, uh, I mean, I can talk about myself. So sure. what my thesis research was uh, detecting cancer using astrology. Okay. Oh, okay. So uh, I saw this is a number one or major problem uh, in uh, in this field, right? So a lot of people are dying because they they couldn't uh, they couldn't be identified this disease early enough. Right. So then I thought uh, I'll let me try using astrology. If, uh, uh, I'm, I was very sure there will be some way, but we don't know what it is. Right. So then uh, I started the research and then I came up with my own formula. Uh, mm -hmm. Again, I, with, I mixed multiple uh, things in that. Right. Not just the stellar Nadi method. In fact, first, when I decided to do the research, First call I made is the person who taught me this method, Umang Taneja. I called him and then asked, sir, is there a way in Nadi astrology to, uh, he because he calls Nadi astrology. He, then uh, is there a method to uh, find out cancer? Then he said, no, sir, cancer we cannot find using Nadi. I said, thank you, sir. Then I will start my research. Then that is how I started. Then uh, my formula, it's there on my website. Uh, I have shared it uh, uh, in my uh, YouTube uh, videos also as there is there even my own channel and I've also shared with the uh, Saptarishi astrology channel as well. It is all there. Uh, it is up to the people to use it. Uh, okay. So again, by uh, looking at the horoscope, uh, you can uh, predict the, uh, whether uh, this native will have a cancer or not. If so, when? I will be teaching that in my full course as well. So okay. that is my uh, research thesis. Thanks. Thanks a lot for patiently answering all my questions. It's almost 26 minutes past our time. Yeah, yeah no and problem. Thanks for all my colleagues also for patiently being online and listening. Sorry for that. Uh, because I thought of reserving my questions for the end of the session today. Yeah, 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 no problem. So Balaji, where are you located? I'm currently in Bangalore. I Bangalore. was in Indianapolis for some time and then okay. moved back. Over oh, to Bangalore. Okay, okay. Okay, yeah. right. Cool, good. Uh, anybody, any other questions?
डॉक्टर प्रसाद इज इट लाइक जस्ट ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड लाइक नाड़ी इज लाइक इज इट लाइक पल्स आई मीन द एग्जैक्ट मीनिंग सी ओके सो बेसिकली नाड़ी या इट इज अ पल्स राइट इन दैट सेंस द मोमेंट वेदर ए पर्सन इज अलाइव और नॉट वी चेक फर्स्ट वी चेक इज नाड़ी पल्स राइट Yeah. That is what that is one meaning. The basic, the Nadi astrology, the Nadi Jyotisha, it has multiple things. So those methods are all based on nakshatra. So all these things, or until now, we have seen planets sitting in the rasis, right? But in the Nadi, you have to see in which nakshatra the planet is sitting. Okay. So, so nakshatra is the main uh, what we are seeing here. Yeah, the nakshatra. Every planet will sit in some nakshatra, correct? Rasi and nakshatra. So the Nadi astrology is uh, nakshatra. In which nakshatra these planets are sitting and their uh, uh, characteristics. Okay, and then there are different so many types of Nadi astrology. Okay, uh, Burgundi Nadi is there. Uh, Chandra Nadi is there, Naga Nadi is there. Like there are so many types of uh, Nadi. Okay, each have a different way of uh, doing it. So in the stellar Nadi, also we take the nakshatra and we go much further into call it as a sublog. Okay, okay. And then all the three will give the will the uh, results, the accurate results. Okay, so how we calculate and all that is what this whole uh, session about, and then uh, what uh, Mr. Umang Taneja has taught is one method of calculation. There, I didn't see the full results, so then uh, I uh, um, found out an another way of calculation in that itself. Then, which started giving me more accurate result without changing the birth time. Oh, wow. See, when a client comes, say somebody has born, say twelve thirty-five. Okay, they are sure. Yes, the baby was born at twelve thirty-five. Only. Lot of astrologers they try to move. I'll also confirm. Say like few minutes here and there, but I cannot move too much. Right? Some people say they move to twelve forty-five, one o'clock, or twelve fifteen. So, he right. So when I didn't see the results, say like out of ten uh, activities, uh, past life events in their life, say one of the some of the critical events were missing when uh, with uh, the method uh, Mr. Umang Tanaja taught. So then I was not uh, ready to accept that. So then I wanted to why that critical event is missing. Somebody is getting divorced or somebody is said. Uh, traveling to foreign land, country, and then settling there. That is a major event in that life. That has to show in the chart. And that we have to, we should be in a, a position to predict that. Right? He, so then when that kind of answer, then he says, okay, you move. Then if we move the other events, one of the other events will get dropped. Right? So like that. So then I came up with the, another uh, hybrid method within that. Then uh, my results started coming down correctly. Then uh, I said, uh, let me keep a stellar Nadi method as the name, you know, because the Nadi astrology is too confusing to people. After many years, he, I found out the person who invented this method, uh, his name is, uh, uh, code name is Meena R.G. Rao. He, he had named this as stellar Nadi uh, astrology when he first presented this subplot theory. Yeah, before uh, Krishna Mukti Padati. So then I thought, okay, my names are uh, in sync right now. Oh, okay, thank you so much. That's so nice of you. Like you're saying every each and every detail. That's, that really means a lot. Thank you so much, Doctor. Yeah, welcome, welcome. Okay, uh, any other question? How many more classes we have on this? So uh, the free, the the fundamental, the free one will be next week will be the last class. Okay. I'll and be finished. After then that, after that, uh, after that, if uh, people are interested in this whole uh, stellar Nadi method and all that, that will be five months course. 
So because already we covered the fundamentals one month, so I won't have to repeat it. Uh, okay. It will be straight away going to that method and then continuing that whole thing. So, so that will be about um, 20 weeks. Yeah, yeah, that 20, class will weeks. be yeah, that class will be one and a half hours to two hours each week. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So then uh, the total, like within six months, you are done. Start to end. Okay. Okay, right. If there are no questions, uh, thank you. We'll see you next week. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Take care, all of you. Bye. Thank you.